Hello world, welcome to Epitet with Novelette. On my show, I'm going to be talking just about anything. That's right, anything. We can be talking about Donald Trump, anything is fair game. But today I'm going to start with a little saying that goes like this. Well, you've heard it said, if life is a bowl of cherries, what am I doing in the pit? Well, don't be discouraged. If you find yourself in the pit, remember, there's always some cherries around the pit. So guess what? All you have to do is begin to eat your way out. Eat your way out? What do you mean by that? Well, you know they say, from the pit to the palace. So when you find yourself into the pit, all you need to do is have a little bit of faith and then just begin to do some works behind your faith. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about faith. What is faith? Faith is a seed that is germinated by belief and watered by action. Belief can be seen as an action, as it is a spiritual component that gives faith the power to become active and materialize that which God wants to fulfill or what you want God to fulfill. Belief then is that spiritual action, when it is present in our lives, is counted or imputed unto us for righteousness. True faith cannot exist without belief. Otherwise, it's not faith. It's merely wishful thinking. And whenever there is wishful thinking, there is room for doubt. The spirit of doubt will always creep in because there is no substance present. So in order to understand what true faith is, you must understand substance and evidence. Substance. Faith cannot exist without substance. Okay, otherwise, nothing is going to happen. Hebrews 11 verse 1 tells us that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So from this, we know what faith is. But to truly understand this, we must be clear about what substance and evidence is. Substance, then, is the real physical matter of which a person or thing consists and which has solid Presence. That's right. It has solid or tangible presence. Substance, therefore, cannot be broken down any further. That is, it is the pure form for which matter uh, exists. It contains only one atom. All things consist of matter. So substance, then, is that one thing that makes all other things exist. Substance must exist before anything can exist. There can be no evidence without substance, since all things consist of matter. Substance, then, is both the genesis of a thing and the evidence of a thing. It is that which brings forth the unseen world into the seen, and the unreal world into the real world, the impossible into the possible. The substance of faith makes all things possible. Therefore, faith is more real than anything we see, as it is the substance that brings forth the real. In other words, faith is reality more than reality itself, because it brings forth reality. How do we activate faith then? Faith is activated by the mind. This is why Christ said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. And Paul declared, be renewed in the spirit of your mind. So from this, we understand that faith, or sorry, the mind is a spirit, right? And it is through the mind that we conceive what can become reality. The mind, therefore, conceives spiritual things. And when it is focused on these spiritual things, it unlocks these spiritual things and brings them into reality. In other words, what the mind can conceive, the mind can achieve if it only believes. What the mind can conceive, the mind can achieve if it only believes. So from this we understand, hallelujah, that the mind is a powerful tool. Amen? It, we are able to understand creation now that we understand that the mind is spirit. And I'm going to talk about this in my next segment. So stay tuned for Epitet with Novelette as we come back to you with the second segment of Faith. 
Are you ready? Are you understanding that faith is a powerful tool? I want you to hold on to your seats because I've got more to share on this subject called faith. See you in a little while. I'll be back with part two.